Hallelujah. 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 And shalom to all of you, my father's children. It is a privilege to uh, continue our study in the book of Proverbs where we are discovering as a nation rediscovering how to raise kings and queens Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And today we're in Proverbs chapter two. So if you have your Bibles, get your Bible, turn to Proverbs chapter two, and let us look at uh, verse 10, and um, we'll go down a few verses in this study. One of the greatest concerns uh, of of royalty one of one of the greatest concerns of the ruling class ruling families of this earth 
um, is protection. It's one of the major concerns. It's probably the number one concern of most so-called royals. It's protection. It preoccupies the mind, the heart, the activities, the lifestyle. Anything that has to do with a royal um, has to be one of the things that always has to be considered is protection. So when we look at, say, like the so-called earthly royals, and I'm not just talking about um, here in the West, but earthly royals in Europe, earthly royals in Ophira, which where well, you get the word Africa from, that's Ophir, and royals um, in Asia, all over. One, one of the things that, um, one of the major concerns of true royalty is protection. They are preoccupied with protection. And you can, you can see how concerned they are about being protected and protecting themselves as royals uh, primarily just looking at where they live. I know. It, it sounds simple until it's brought out that for the most part, their home. I'm trying to help Israel. I want you, I'm trying to help y'all see this. Help y'all see this. Uh, their home is a fortress. Their their home uh, is a castle. Yes, their their the home itself. It is, I mean, where they live every day is a fortified structure that they try their best to make um, impenetrable so that no evil enemies are able to attack the family. And again, these we're just trying to help raise king and queens. So on a physical level, when you look at these royals, they they live inside of a place where they feel safe and protected, and that place is fortified. Like I said, whether it's a castle or a, a, a temple or or any other uh, place, be it like a White House or any place where there is. Um, well, people believe that there's royalty. So it begins with fortifying house. And then not only will the castle or the building that they live in, uh, the house that they live in, be extra fortified, but often even outside of that, there's another area called the grounds. And between the house and uh, the outside world, they have to go through the grounds. And oftentimes they will have guards, they will have people with power. And I'm not just talking about physical power, I'm talking about, um, you know, mechanical power. 
with dynamite power, gun powder power, standing outside so that if the royals go outside, the, the children being royalty, even go in their backyard to play, they are being watched over by these guards. And then, of course, as they go a little further in the courtyard, you will see a fence or a uh, or walls, thick walls that have gates. And once again, it is about protection. So they have these huge walls that then uh, protect the courtyard where the children may be, or the, even the adults may be, the ro where royalty hangs out. And then, and then at the court, <laughs> back at the house, there's normally some type of guards at the doors. And then when you go inside, you also have a uh, guard. So, so my point that I'm making on this short video is how important a, a royalty or those who understand that they're royalty, how important being guarded is. So let's say when they get to the walls, Sometimes they'll have people on top of the walls and these people will be used on top of the wall just to look out. They're called what? Watchmen. So they'll have these watchmen on the walls and they're patrolling day and night. They take shifts. And if the royalty wants to go outside of the gates, there is even another set of protection there. Yeah, and of course... At that point, it actually becomes military protection. So in the house, they're protected by the very structure of the building. Out, and then on the outside, it's guarded. Then they go into the courtyard, and that is guarded. Then there's a wall, and it's guarded. Then when they go outside the wall, there's normally a sign to them, to every royal, there is someone assigned to them to be, um, we call it over here in, in the United Snakes, we call it secret service. So they'll have what's called secret service protection. Um, in some other places, they call it royal uh, and... I guess like specialized or specialist protection that do what? Follow the royalty around. So wherever, if the royal, if, if royalty says, I, I just want to go, I just want to go downtown and, and just, I don't know, want to go get something simple, like maybe some ice cream or something. They just can't go. They just can't just walk out there and just go because protect, is number one priority of royals. It's so much so that governments of nations that have leadership, what they call royals, all over the world, it doesn't matter what you call your royals, not the issue now, just mentioning it, these are people that are in positions and places of royalty. It's so important that they will actually hire people, right? To be personal bodyguards and they will make the nation pay for it. So the nation pays for the fortification of the buildings. The nation pays for the guards. The nations pay for the upkeep of the walls. The nation pays for the military, the nation pays for for everything. And even the, like out here, the so-called bodyguards or secret service that follow them around, the nation pays for it because they say we have to protect our royals. Now, this introduction 
is going to help you see the rest of the video or the rest of the lesson on raising kings and queens. We, we see then there is a must when it comes to raising kings and queens that first there has to be a recognition of the fact that there is royalty in this house. That's one of the reasons why in almost every video I have put out so far, I keep saying the same thing about these videos are not for everybody. These Raising Kings and Queen videos are for those of you who can hear me. All over the world, people are gonna be watching these videos but for some people, these particular videos in Proverbs are going in one ear and out the other. Why? Because they are not royalty. But there are those of you who watch these videos hanging on to every word because you know you are royalty or you know you are in a position or a place to be raising royalty. So therefore, it is it is imperative that we understand this idea of protection, protection, protecting the royal family. And where does it begin? Protection of the royal family begins first in the house, making sure that the house itself is well fortified or protected. And then, of course, you go outside of that and you have the place where the children play or the young people, and it's protected. You go a little bit further outside the gates, you need further protection. And even when our uh, kings and queens, which at this time will be um, prince and princess, even when the prince and the princess journey outside of the gates and have to enter into like normal society, they need protection to go with them. They need bodyguards. And there's a simple reason for that. It's not, have to, it's not too deep. There's a reason for that. It's because royalty is always under attack. Royalty is always being threatened. Royalty always have to look out for those that are trying to destroy it or trying to destroy them. And so therefore, every, every uh, precaution is taken for the protection of royalty. Of course, that's why when something happens, to royalty, it makes the news, and it's huge. It's a story that runs like almost endless. Why? Because, because it's so odd that a royal would, would actually experience hurt or harm or an accident or, fight or have a fight or anything like that because they have they have protection and people know that. Now, uh, that's royalty. All right, so when we look into the Proverbs, we see in Proverbs the same concept, but just on a deeper level. And that concept is that royalty must be protected at all times. So going back to my previous point, if you know that you're royalty or if you know that you are raising royalty in your home, if you can hear the more, you should know that protection of that seed, protection of that child, protection of that queen or that prince is the number one job or responsibility of the parents, for sure. 
And of course, if all of us understood it, we would we'd definitely get along better as a nation if we all knew we were royal, but everyone doesn't know that. That's unfortunate. So um, you have to, we have to teach our children that this world and this world system and people in this world are not necessarily for them. Most people, once you leave the castle, once you leave the courtyard, and once you get on the other side of the gates into what they call the real world, you're going to find out that you're going to face people who not only don't have your best interest in mind, I'm talking about at all, but you will actually come in contact with people who want to lead you into darkness or eventually drag you into hell. And so you have to have something, someone, something watching over you and guarding you all times in the place and the position of a bodyguard. Now, let's look at the text. We'll get into it more. Of course, we're going to get into it deeper in the next video. But for now, that you heard the introduction, then the, video, the next video is going to make a lot of sense when we get into it deeper. But now let's just listen to the text. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 10. When wisdom entereth into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Watch this, verse 11. Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. Do you know that both words, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep the, that both words, discretion and <clears throat> understanding are going to now operate in the role of a bodyguard. When? When wisdom enters your heart. And when knowledge actually becomes pleasant to your soul, then what you will get assigned to you at that point is discretion. It'll preserve you. And understanding will guard you. From whom, all right? From what? In verse 12, the evil man, which we know is Ra, which is dysfunctional, low value, evil, the disagreeable person, the person that's not walking according to Torah, the evil man and the strange woman. When you go outside, you're going to need protection from the evil man and that strange woman. And so what Yah says that he'll do for royalty 
when wisdom enter into your heart and knowledge is pleasant to you, he says, I'm going to give you some bodyguards. Discretion and understanding will be your bodyguards. And in our next video, we'll explain why we need them with us at all times, Zion. <laughs> Woo! Why we need them with us at all times. Because that is the only way that we're going to be delivered from that evil man and that strange woman. I got to cut this video off right here. But I pray, open your eyes to our responsibility in these last days when it comes to being the royalty that Yah has chosen to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. If the heathens and the unbelievers understand how important it is to protect the royal family how much more should it be important to those of us who are the very sons and daughters of the Most High, Yah? And by the way, that is the actual true definition of the English word grace, which is the Hebraic word chen all the protection around the seed that it might continue. We'll pick it up in our next lesson, but until then, just understand as royalty, uh, we have special protection. We have some spiritual bodyguards. Oh, yes. And they will preserve you. And they will keep you. Hallelujah. 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 If these messages that are coming forward, are helping you, encouraging you, Zion. Don't forget to support this work that we can keep doing what Yah has called us to do and even hopefully do it on an even larger scale. Then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps get the word out, Zion. And you can even like the videos if you would like to. And then you can share them. Let the world know. Yah is waking up his children, his house in these last days. And uh, you, by supporting this work, are actually a part of what he's doing. Hallelujah. 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 Never forget. Yah has, a, Yah has assigned to us some spiritual bodyguards. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, Zion. Shalom.